after a dramatic round two here at the FIDE World Cup, uh, five of the top seeds are already knocked out and heading home. Wesley So, Jan Pomnachi, Hans Niemann, Aravan Chitambaram and Nihal Sarin are all packing their bags as we speak. So, with that mixing things up, what does it look like for our statistics? Let's find out. Before round one, we did one million simulations of the tournament, which gave us this graph of the winners. As you can see, Kaima, Edegaisi and Giri are all in the top three with a likelihood of winning it outright. After round two, they all still remain in the top three, with Kaima's chances now a little bit increased, but understandably, Wei Yi and Gukesh's chances have also moved up. But for those critical candidate spots, uh, Edegaisi, Kaima and Prague were all favourites, with So in the fourth spot. Now, after So's elimination, Wei Yi has moved up significantly. Meanwhile, because Giddy, Gukesh and Bluebaum are all still in the candidates and already qualified or exempt from the candidates, uh, the chance of the fourth place finisher of the World Cup getting a candidate spot has increased significantly up to about 40% likelihood. Likewise, the chance of a sub-2700 player qualifying to the candidates via the World Cup has increased from around 60% likelihood to 72% likelihood. In terms of countries, a winner from India occurred 25% of the time, a winner from Germany 10% of the time, and a winner from the US or China both around 8 to 8.5% 8 of the time. Unfortunately, both Australians, who got through round one and increased their chances of winning from 111 simulations in a million to 151 in a million, have both been knocked out. But we've now got pretty high percentage of players with alliteration in their names and surnames. For example, Richard Rapport, Daniel Dada, Salam Salah, Yu Yang Yi, just to give some examples. Looking at all of the players with alliteration in their name, there's about a 10% chance a player with an alliterative name wins about the same chance as a German player. What are your predictions?